If the line 3x plus 4y equals to c is tangent to the circle, then find the value of c and also determine the point of contact. So here we have a circle which is centered at c. We have a line whose equation is given by 3x plus 4y minus c equals to 0. So this line is tangent to the circle, let's say, at point A. Our goal will be to find out the value of the constant C, as well as we will also need to find out the coordinates of point A. Let us begin. So here we will start by first considering the given circle. We have here x squared plus y squared plus 10x plus 14y minus 7 equals to 0. So here what we'll do? We will compare it with the general equation of a circle. The general equation of a circle is given by the equation x squared plus y squared plus 2 times gx plus 2 times fy plus c. So our goal will be to find out the value of the constant g, f and c because if we know those values then we can define the coordinates of the center that will be negative g comma negative f and the radius will be obtained by using the formula r equals to g squared plus f squared minus c. So let us begin. So here what we'll do, we will consider 2g to be equivalent to 10. So that means our value of g comes out to be 5. Then we have 2f equals to 14, which means that f comes out to be equals to 7. And we have the value of c, so c is negative 7. Our center is now going to have the coordinate negative g comma negative f so we have negative 5 comma negative 7 that's the coordinates of the center of the circle so let's note it down we have negative 5 comma negative 7 and the radius of the circle is going to be equal to we'll take the square root so here we take square of g so that's 25 then we take square of f so that's 49 and then we have to subtract c so c is negative 7 so that means it's addition so that's positive 7 and this is going to give us a value equals 9 which means that the radius of the circle is 9. Now what we'll do? We'll join point C and the point of contact, point A. Now there's a formula which will help us to obtain the perpendicular distance CA. So here CA is perpendicular to the tangent line. So let's use the formula. Let's say we have a point with coordinates x1, y1. Then uh, its distance from a straight line ax plus by plus e equals to 0 and we are trying to find out the perpendicular distance as given by ax1 plus by1 plus e divided by square root of a squared plus b squared. So in a case we have the points here with coordinates negative 5 comma negative 7 and we want to find out the perpendicular distance ca from the straight line. So all we have to do is take the absolute value and now we'll take a ratio so here we'll start with the coefficient of x, so that's 3. 3 will get multiplied to the x coordinate of the center, that's negative 5. Add it to the coefficient of y, which is 4. 4 gets multiplied to the y coordinate of the center, that's negative 7. And then we have the constant term, that's negative c. This will get be divided with the square root of coefficient of x, so that's 3 squared. Uh, square it and then add it to square of the coefficient of y so that's 4 squared and this perpendicular distance here this is nothing but the radius of the circle which is 9 units the 9 will be equals to the absolute value of negative 15 minus 28 minus c all divided by 5 now that means we now have 9 so let's cross multiply 9 with 5 to get positive 45 that will be equals to the absolute value of so negative 15 negative 28 that's going to be negative 43 minus c now we will solve this equation so since it involves absolute value we're going to get two equation we have negative 43 minus c that will be equals to 45 and the other possibility will be 40 and uh, negative 43 minus c equals to negative 45 so here c value will be equals to negative 43 minus 45 so that gives us a value negative 88 and then the other possibility c will be equals to we have 45 minus 43 so we get c equals to 2. So we have successfully obtained the value of c it could be the negative 88 or positive 2. So now that we have the value of c we can find out the equation of the tangent so we have 3x plus 4y the equation of the tangents equation of the tangents we'll get two equations we have 3x plus 4y 
minus c so since c is a negative 88 we're going to get positive 88 this is going to be one equation and the other equation is going to be 3x plus 4y minus 2 equals to 0 okay so we have to two tangent equation now our goal will be to find out the coordinates of the point of contact so let's redraw the diagram here so here we have the equation of the two tangents so here we have the two tangents uh, to the circle at point a and point b we want to find out the coordinates of both a and b so let us suppose that coordinates of a are x1 comma y1 and coordinates of b are x2 comma y2 we'll start by finding out the coordinates of point a now since our point a lies on the tangent line 3x plus 4y minus 2 equals to 0 so we can say that it satisfies the equation of the tangent so we have 3x1 plus 4y1 minus 2 equals to 0. So from here, we can isolate y1. So 4y1 will be equals to negative 3x1 plus 2, which gives us y1 equals to negative 3 over 4, x1 plus 1 half. This is the value of y1. Now, this particular point A lies on the circle whose equation is already given to us. So we can say it's also going to satisfy the equation of the circle. So we can rewrite the equation of the circle as x1 squared plus y1 squared plus 10 times x1 plus 14 times y1 minus 7 equals to 0. Now, to find out the value of x1 comma y1, we will first substitute the value of y with negative 3 over 4 x1 plus half so we get x1 squared plus negative 3 over 4 times x1 plus 1 half we square this value add it to 10 times x1 plus 14 times y1 so y1 will be negative 3 over 4 x1 plus half minus 7 equals to 0 now this is going to give us a quadratic equation in x1 so that i'm leaving as an exercise for you to try out so here x1 will be equals to 2 over 5 and we will substitute 2 over 5 into this equation to obtain the value of y so y1 will be equals to 1 over 5 so we have the coordinates of point a so that's going to be 2 over 5 comma 1 over 5. So we'll take the same approach for B, point B. So point B has the coordinates x2 comma y2. So all we have to do is this particular point is going to satisfy the equation of the tangent 3x plus 4y plus 88 equals to 0. So we'll get one equation as 3x2 plus 4y2 plus 88 equals to 0. And the equation of the circle is going to be x2 squared plus y2 squared plus 10x2 plus 14y2 minus 7 equals to 0. And we can solve this two equation to get the value of x2. So x2 will be equals to negative 52 over 25. And the corresponding y2 value that's going to be equals to 71 over 5. So this is going to be the coordinates of point B. So let's note it down. We have negative 52 over 25 comma 71 over 5. This is going to be the point of contact of the tangent line 3x plus 4y plus 88 equals to 0. And the point of contact of the tangent 3x plus 4y minus 2 equals to 0. But the circle is going to be at 2 over 5 comma 1 over 5.